Hello, my name is Robert Dean Steele, and today I want to talk to you about an old hymn that goes like this. When peace, like a river, attendeth my way, when sorrows like sea billows roll, whatever my lot I have, he has taught me to say, it is well, it is well with my soul. Now, that may have not been the best rendition, but I think that you kind of get the idea. How does it, how can we become well with our soul? Well, it's very simple. What you need to do is put your life in Jesus Christ. You know, Jesus tells us in this the sermon when he was in the upper room, he said this, If you abide in me and my words abide in you, Ask what you will, and you'll receive it. So basically what he says, the real secret of having wellness in one's soul is abiding in Christ. That means giving your time, your talents, and treasures over to him. Loving him, as it says in Matthew chapter 22, verses 37 to 40, loving the Lord with all your heart and soul and mind and strength. When those things come across your way, when sorrow and 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 sadness come. When you face all the difficulties of life, you can say with confidence and also with great um, desire, it is well with my soul. That assurance that no matter what you face, the Lord is going to be with you because you put everything in the Lord's hand. I love that little illustration of footprints in the sand where from time to time, the two footprints went into one. And the question of the inquirer was this, where were you? And Jesus said, in those times, I was carrying you. There will be times where the Lord himself will carry you. It will be times where the grace of God will come into that situation. What you need to do is stop fussing and saying to yourself, how am I going to get out of this mess? And just simply take time to pray and say, God, would you wonderfully and marvelously meet the need? Had a conversation with one of my leadership team just this last week, and he was going in to have some uh, work done. He was going to have them check out a particular procedure that they had done six months before. You see, one day he woke up and he, he didn't have any strength. And so finally he went to the hospital and they did uh, a scan and found out that he had three separate ulcers, bleeding ulcers. And they were bleeding into his internal part of his life. And, and so what they did was they did surgery and then he said, you know, I feel great, but I'm going to put my trust in the Lord. And so he had the procedure and the report came back to him, and I, I chatted with him just a couple of nights ago. He says, Pastor, I just want you to know one thing. He says, everything is fine. But he said, I had great confidence that God was going to sustain me no matter what happened. You see, in that situation, he had put his trust in the Lord. It was well with his soul. His will intellect and emotions were set on the Lord. And that's what we need to do. You see, the soul is our will, our intellect, and our emotions. And when we submit our intellect, our will, and emotions to God, say, God, here are and these things to you. I give them to you. Then when we do that and God begins to minister in those areas, it becomes well inside and no matter what we face, no matter what we're going through, we know that God is going to be with us. We know that when we overcome it, when we are conquered, it, when we find ourselves vict victory over that. You see, we're never going to have a testimony, for example, if we don't have a test. We're never going to be an overcomer if we never have anything over to come. We're never going to be a conqueror if we never have anything to conquer. Let me give an illustration. When I was young, I wanted to be a, a champion runner. Now, folks, I had to practice. I had to run every single day. And for months, I ran somewhere between five and eight miles. And when the test came, when the tournament happened, when the track meet happened, I was ready. And when I took off, you know, <clears throat> 
I was able to defeat my enemies, or, or my fellow con uh, participants, not my enemies. But the point, point was, I became a champion because I had already done all the work. You see, we need to understand that God has given us everything that we need for righteousness, for truth, and for life itself. It's called the grace of God. And so today, it can be well with your soul when you put your trust in the sufficiency, the power, the anointing, and the promise of God. It can be well with your soul when you put yourself in the Lord and allow Him to abide in you. My name is Robert Dean Steele. You have yourself a great and godly day.